Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for those new here, hi, my name is Jenny. I am married, I just had a baby, I just graduated medical school, and I'm about to start residency. So this week I wanted to do a Q&A and I asked you guys to send me questions through Snapchat. Um, I originally started filming this in the other room, but why it kept waking up, so we moved into here. So, and I'm sorry if I butcher a lot of these usernames. So the first question was from Leve 17 and they asked, what am I most excited for in residency? And I said that I'm most excited for getting a real paycheck. I haven't got paid since I worked in a lab back in college. So that's been over at least four to five years now. And then the second question was from Amina M20. After med school, if I still have to take exams. And yes, in residency, you're still taking exams just to test your competence. And then we also get board of certification um, within this first year. So that is an eight hour exam. So as med students and to become physicians, you have to take three board exams. The first one you take second year of med school. The second exam, step two, you take third year or beginning of fourth year of medical school. And then the third final board exam is you take it during your first year of residency. Okay, and the next question we have is from FIFA21. Now that you have a child and you won't be able to spend much time as you would want to with your family, do you ever wish you went the PA or NP route? Or are you happy with everything the way it happened? So it's hard for me to answer this question right now just because I've been on break since I've had uh, Wyatt and I won't start residency until this following week and I won't have a good idea of what my schedule is like or how much I would miss him. I know I'd miss him, but how much I would miss him until that time actually starts. Maybe I'll do an update video or update you guys on Snapchat about how I actually feel. Um, but as of right now, like I don't, I don't regret my decision at all to become a physician just because my original reason why I went into medicine, not only for the continuity of care, it was because I wanted to learn osteopathic manipulative medicine and I wouldn't be able to do that as an NP or a PA. Um, I think you would just have to weigh out all the risks and benefits if you are um, struggling between the three, considering finances, time and dedication, what your career goals are, what you want to do in your future practice or how you would like to practice, consider all those things. Sydney asks, when is the best time to have a kid as an aspiring med student? Also, what are your opinions on a gap year before med school? So I'm going to answer the second question first. I personally took a gap year before going to med school. And I know I'm not part of administration, but what I hear is that um, usually they would like older candidates who have taken a gap year and done something in that gap year just because it shows character and it shows that you are really dedicated to medicine and that you know what you want. And then the first question, when is the best time to have a kid? There's never really a good time in med school to have children, but if you do want to plan out perfectly, you do have summer vacation end of first year. It's possible to have it at the end of second year, but you're going to be studying a lot for your board exam after, so step two. But if you take your board exam early and you're pregnant at the time, then you can have your baby right after you take your exam. Third year, I say it's really hard because you're traveling and you're doing audition rotations and you're going on interviews and all that stuff. So the best other time which what I did was having the baby end of fourth year, if that makes sense. So let me summarize. Be pregnant first year, give birth end of first year, or be pregnant during your step one exam, giving birth after step one exam, or being pregnant fourth year, going on interviews beginning of fourth year, and people don't know you're pregnant, and having the baby right before graduation, which is what I did. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Rai Chow says, how does your relationship go while being in med school? 
So all throughout medical school, Stan and I's relationship has been long distance. Um, even when we got married third year, he still lived in California and I lived in Washington. In ways, it was a lot better for me just because I can focus a lot more on my studying. I would, I remember he would come visit and I would have exams and then I would feel bad that I was leaving him there all by himself and not spending any time with him because I could study uh, or I needed to study. And so with the long distance, I felt that I could study and not feel guilty and not dedicate any time to him. But now we finally moved in together. We're spending a lot more time together. So it is nice. It is nice to have someone there all the time and just feel comforted. I'm actually making a video on med school relationships with all my friends who are in relationships in med school. And so watch out for that video. So Strength Cap says, where do you see OMT being in the future? Since not many practicing osteopathic physicians do it, thanks. So this is a really good question. So it's very true that not a lot of DOs practice OMT nowadays. I think I read somewhere that the statistics are only about 5% practice a majority of OMT, but I feel that the people who do practice it are very passionate, are very knowledgeable about it, and there's always going to be people who are interested in the subject. So I feel like OMT will continue on for many, many years. Aaron M. Bell 24 says, what advice would you give to someone who is struggling to decide if they really want to be a doctor? So my advice for someone struggling on deciding if they really want to be a doctor or not is immerse yourself in the field of medicine as much as you can. Shadow a doctor, shadow a PA, shadow a nurse. Um, just to know what it's like to be in that career. And so once you've exposed yourself to all those things, then you can make an informed decision. And if you feel like you're not good enough, I feel like that's not for you to judge. That's for the med school and that's for administration to judge. And so there's no harm in trying to apply for med school. And if you don't get in, then the second year you can either one, decide to reapply, or two, reevaluate if med school is what you really want to do, if it's worth another year of reapplication. And then at that point, you, you can also have all the prerequisites to apply for PA school or NP and stuff like that. Cal's M2 asks, oh, would we get a house tour at some point in the future? Um, yes. You guys will definitely get a house tour sometimes in the future. We are just moving in still. Stan had to drive his U-Haul from California up to Washington. So he literally just got here two days ago. So our house is a mess, but the house tour is coming soon. If not a house tour, at least a closet tour. Aiden is peppy, asks, I'm about to start college and my goal is to become a plastic surgeon. Just first thing I wanted to know is what should I major in? Is it possible to major in something non-medical or body related? Very good question. So a lot of people ask me when they want to go to medical school, what should they major in? And honestly, I touched base on this in my previous video about how I got into medical school, but you do not need to major in anything bio related or chemistry related. Um, I know my friend majored in a religion major. The only requirement that you need is doing your bio prerequisites um, and taking the MCAT and doing well on those. But I feel like majoring in something else besides bio or chemistry actually sets you apart and intrigues administration. As I said, I'm not part of administration, but I feel like it will actually make you stand out from other applicants. So those are just some of the questions. I hope to do more of these in the future. If you guys have any other questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, baby. How's mommy supposed to film?
Okay, okay, okay. <laughs>